So pick a million. Is it worth buying? Is it worth getting into? Is it as good as Fenibit? Or Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on an interesting supplement or drug if you're in a, another country um, called picamelon. Now, picamelon essentially is a B vitamin mixed with GABA. Apparently, when they fuse it with the B vitamin, allows it to cross the blood-brain barrier a little better. I don't really understand what makes GABA so weak, but when GABA's by itself, it just is so easily broken down that you don't get much effect. So it's nice that it is able to cross the blood-brain barrier because of that. In the US, it's technically, uh, it's unapproved. The FDA hasn't looked into it, but those are just general overarching claims. Uh, like that's how you're gonna find the best things that haven't been marketed yet. And um, if it's a drug in another country, it kind of makes me think it's pretty strong, you know, or has some pretty good effects to it. So just going off my personal experience, I recently got some more Finibits and I really don't use um, more of the relaxing type supplements. I just don't really use them very often, like except for a few natural herbs or things like that at night. Be like, le like lemon balm, chamomile, passion flower, and maybe like L-theanine or uh, tryptophan. I like those kind of stuff. I don't mind taking those every day, but for something that's strong like this, I'm not really the person to take it very often. So when I do take it, um, it really not only does it work, but it also makes it a little bit hard to do the review on these because like I'm not, I'm not just trying it and trying and trying it like I would with other things. So. Recently, I revisited Fenibit and it was very nice. It would actually, um, since that video that I just shot on Fenibit, I've tried it again, had pretty much the exact same reaction where um, the Fenibit dosage is like, I think it's about 250 to 500 milligrams. Some people can go higher, but I really wouldn't recommend it. Before I was getting Fenibit in the powder, so I kind of had a variable dose, but this time I just have been pretty much taking one or two. So I took two uh, pills of Fenibit and it was just, it was nice. I went, went to sleep for almost 12, uh, 12 hours. I felt kind of groggy the next day. That's kind of what to expect. That's what I wanted. I could have taken less, I knew that. So if you want to avoid that feeling on Fenibit, I kind of recommend staying around 250 milligrams or taking it at the like halfway through the day. So that way when you wake up the next day, it's pretty much gone. You don't have that groggy feel. So uh, this stuff, I, I've always remembered that it was lighter. You know, it's pretty much like, that's all I remember is that it's like lighter and it has a pretty decent effect. And I gotta say, like, same pretty much happened here. I don't know how big the, the dosage on these pills are, but I got them from Cosmic Nootropics. If you wanna get get some down below. I don't know where else these are sold, but I know that other places have to sell them, but I gotta say, I do trust Cosmic Nootropics. And if you use my discount code of Real Josh TV, you'll get 10% off. So just putting that out there. Maybe you find a better discount code. Maybe you find a better site. Who knows? I'll be very interested to see though. Let me know if you find something better. So yeah, as far as the effects go, I had a little too much caffeine yesterday, a little bit too much um, feelings. So I don't know, I just kind of wanted something to ease into the night. And I ended up taking two of the Picamillons. And I kind of wanted to do one Picamillon and then one Finibit, which I think would have been like the, uh, the icing on the cake, just doing one on one. But I kind of did want to try it for this review. So I took two. And I immediately felt like I was in almost like slow motion in about 45 minutes to an hour, which is kind of what I wanted because I, I had a little too much caffeine. So um, yeah, it worked. Uh, it's definitely much more of a um, few hours kind of thing. You know, it's like, I would say maybe five, six, seven hours later, it's gonna be pretty much gone out of your system. So it's like, that's nice for those people wanting that short acting effect. I'm somebody who with anxiety stuff, I usually like it to last a longer period of time, which is why like when I did try pharmaceuticals a long time ago, I liked Valium over Xanax because Valium is like half as strong for longer and Xanax is super strong and then it's gone. I don't really like that personally because they get more rebound anxiety from that. So um, honestly guys, I think they're both useful. Um, I, I do think that if you were to take Picamillin before bed, that it's going to be gone by the time you wake up. So it's like if you had something's bothering you or something, uh, you had too much stimulants, it's not, I don't know if it would be the best thing just because it's not gonna keep you asleep the entire time. I actually left my heater on and it's not even that cold out right now. So I ended up waking up around five or six and I just like decided to stay up. I think it's a really for a mix up of somebody who wants kind of like some daytime anxiety. They, you want some anxiety relief, but you don't wanna be asleep or groggy for like 10, 11, 12 hours, you know. For me, uh, I think the sweet spot would be uh, one in one, uh, one Fenibit and one uh, Picamillin, just for what I need it for in the future. Like obviously if, they, if I need one for a specific option, I'll take it, but it would be nice to get something that would help long, help that Fenibit just really, you know, seal the deal with tiredness, but then also not be too groggy the next day. So anyways, guys, I highly recommend Picamillin for anxiety. It's, it's like the feeling is, I don't say the feeling is weird, but it's just like, it's very like, it's not like something that's just like, oh, you're like in slow-mo. And then I know I said I was in slow-mo, but it's, it's not like you're like, oh, I'm in slow-mo. I just feel like euphoric. I feel good. I don't feel any problems. It's just like, you're more tired. You're more just like, you're not really worried about things. That's exactly what it says it's going to do. And that's exactly what it does. So I can't really harp bad about it. And I do really like it. I would take it again for sure. And I obviously do think, like I was saying before, 
Benefit and Pick a Melon together, one on one. That's the, that's, the, that's the sweet spot for me. So, anyways, guys, have you tried Pick a Melon? Have you tried Benefit? I'll be very interested to see down below. Um, have you tried any other like anxiety aids, whether they're natural or you know a little bit gray area like this? I'll be very interested to see. Having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Peace.